Hey Simmers and welcome back to the channel. Today we're here talking about the wonderful world of mods for The Sims 4. Now if you've ever wanted to add creativity, realism, or overall better gameplay into your Sims 4 game, you're in the right place. And if you don't know who I am, I am Ray Raccoon and I will be your guide today. So let's get started. And stay to the end to make sure that you don't miss out on this very important information on the mods. Because it could break your game if you don't do this. So first things first, let's talk about what mods are. Mods are short for modifications. They're user-created content to better enhance your gameplay or overall experience in the game. They can be anything from custom clothing, hairstyles, traits, careers, or even new worlds to explore. Now, to download mods, you have a few options. One of the most popular platforms is The Sims Resource, but there are other great ways to quickly and easily get mods through CurseForge or even a content creator's website. Don't forget, tip your content creator. So first I'm going to talk about the Sims resource or the TSR. So here we are on the TSR website. And as you can see from the homepage, there's a ton of custom content. A lot of it being cast content, which is create a Sim content. There's different ways to look up modifications. So if you're not really sure what you're looking for, I suggest looking in categories. You can browse what they have. So if you're looking for eye colors, clothing, just mods in general, shoes, Sims, pets, you name it, it's probably been modded. And if you play different Sims games, like Sims 3 or Sims 2, you can actually look at different mods for those games. Now, if you're looking for something specific that you know is modded in the game, you can click up here and search the website through there. But for this walkthrough, we're gonna just click on something that I think looks cool. So I clicked on this facial hair created by David underscore MTV. Thank you, David. So I think this looks really cool. It comes in all these swatches. So if you want it in your game, I'm gonna kick download. So on the TSR website, it will tell you that it's currently downloading. You have to give it a few seconds. And then from there, you can actually pull it from your downloads file. There you go. It's ready. Download now. Okay. So now it's been downloaded. Now you have to find your downloads folder on your computer. Here's mine it's from my PC and downloads. So when downloading your mods, you're looking for package files, which means it'll say package dot package. That's the type of file you're looking for. Now mods come in two types of files. You're just going to get a straight up package file that you can click and drop into your mods folder, or sometimes you'll get a zipped folder. Unzip the folder, extract everything from it. And from there, grab the package files that are designated to be put into your game. Now to add these files into your game, you need to take your package file and throw it into your mods folder. Now you may be like, Ray, where's my mods folder? Well, here you go. You're going to go to documents, Electronic Arts, Sims 4, if you're putting it into the Sims 4 game. And then from here, you're gonna have a little folder called Mods. Double click on Mods, and then take your package file and click and drop. That simple. Now, we have to boot up the game to see if it's in there. Now, before we check if this mod is actually in our game now, I would have you click on Options, Game Options, and then Other. You need to make sure that mods are enabled in your game. So these two items, Enable Custom Content and Mods, needs to be Collect and script mods need to be allowed. You can also click here to view what custom content you have in your game or what script mods you have in your game. Right now, I only have this one because I took all my mods out. But if these are not checked off, then you need to check them off, apply changes, and restart your game. I'll wait for you to do that. Go ahead. So from here, we need to check to see if this content's in the game and make sure it's running smoothly. So here's my Sim, Kent. He already has some facial hair, but we want to change it to our new mustache, right? So we're going to click on facial hair. Click on filtered items, content, custom content and bam, all your custom content for that category pops up. You'll know it's custom content because it has a little wrench icon in the top left. So click on this and boom, Kent is styling his new stash. Love that. It has all of the normal colors you would find in the game. So if you want him to have a green mustache, then go for it. But I like it when it matches his hair color. Ah. Yeah. Okay, so now let's download another piece of custom content from CurseForge. All right, I'm on the CurseForge website and CurseForge has a dedicated system for Sims 4 mods. This makes it a breeze to find and install custom content. I am not sponsored by CurseForge, but CurseForge, if you want to, let me know. All right, let's check it out. So if Sims 4 was not on the featured games, you would just type it in here, but I'm going to click on Sims 4. So once you're in the Sims 4 section, you notice there's a variety of mods to choose from. You can browse them by category like game, player, objects, traits, and more, but there's some straight off the bat that you can actually just install into your game. So I'm looking for something specific today that I really love to add to my games. So I'm going to type in kawaii search, and I'm looking for these Luna's Kawaii Hard Eyes. This is from a creator called Gabby Me Loves Sims. I also think Curse Forge is super easy to do because it tells you what it's available as. These are contact lenses. They don't actually change the Sims' eyes. They just make it cosmetic. These can be used for female and male Sims, infant to elders. Love that. And this is a screenshot of what they're going to look like in your game. And the different pastel colors that you can use. So if you don't have the Curse Forge app, which is going to tell you to get, and I suggest if you're going to use a bunch of mods, 
I would use that. You can click download to get the download file like we did from the TSR website. But if you have the CurseForge app, click install. The website's gonna prompt you to go to the app to make it easier to download. So now that we're in the app, you can actually just click on install. I already have it installed in my game because I had to test it out earlier, but if you didn't already have it, you could actually just hit install and it would automatically put it into your mods folder into your game. Love that. Then you can also click on my mods and it would tell you what mods you have in your current game. And if they need to be updated, update them all. Love that. All right, so we jump back in the game to make sure that Kawaii eyes are in the game. So we have this random sim and we're gonna change her eyes by putting contacts on. So these contacts are actually in makeup. And then from here, I'm gonna look for custom content. And here they are. Ooh, beautiful. Look at these things. And then from here, you can actually change what color you're seeing if you want purple base or a green base. So to even customize this more, you can actually use these sliders to change the hue, the opacity, the saturation or the brightness of these eyes. Lovely. Oh, I love these in my game. Adding mods is limitless and it really can add some good flair and customization to your game. Oh, I almost forgot. So if you don't want your mods to break in your game, then you need to do this. Click on the options menu, game options, and then Sims delivery. So this is when the Sims drop a new update. Your game would normally automatically update if you have this selected. Now, if you have mods, I would suggest you unselect this and it's going to prompt you to be like, you're going to miss out. No, you're not. Just turn off auto download. If the game updates with all of your mods in your game, it could crash or worse, your mods could break. So what I normally do is I select all the mods in my game and I drop them into a mods folder on my desktop. Then I update my game and then I redrop in my mods to my game. That way the chance of my mods breaking and not working is pretty limited, but you can really only do this if you control when your game updates. So take your mods out, put it in the safe spot, update your game, and then drop your mods back in. I mean, some mods will require an update, but it's less of a chance of you getting so frustrated, especially if you have a ton of mods. Take it from me, just do this and save yourself the hassle. And there you have it. That's how you can easily add mods into your game. Don't feel intimidated, use mods today. Make sure you get your mods from three locations, a trusted website, trusted website, the content creator's website, or CurseForge. My suggestion if you're new to mods is go through CurseForge, not sponsored, because it's probably the easiest way to do this. You can just click, click, click and install a bunch of custom content without having to really mess around with files and dropping them into your mods folder. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, I have a bunch of how-to guides to make your Sims game work the best. Or you can watch the video that's on top. The YouTube gods said that you would love this one. So trust them. With that being said, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.